just living here on Friday on our way to Tampa to go check out Comic-Con. On our way, we decided to stop here at the Crystal Harley Davidson. They've got a live band and food. Look at these girls, that's so nice. They're out there washing everybody's bikes. Pizza Cafe and they've got my all-time favorite here on tap. Never seen it before on tap. ABT 12 St. Barnabas. So we decided to stop in here and are going to try some of their wings. Fireside Pizza Cafe, they've got an outdoor eating area and another brick oven out here. They cook all of their pizzas in brick ovens with a ceramic turntable on the inside. Uh, the brick ovens are heated with just wood. They use some electric to start the fire but beyond that it's cooked with wood. So the wings came out and they've got onions and sauce all in them. We're going to bring out some honey infused with habanero and we're going to give it a try. Here are the fireside and that's the parmesan garlic. The wings are fantastic. You just dribble a little bit of this honey with infused habanero on it and they're great. What did you think of the wings? They're good. I like them a lot. Did you like them as much as Slap Your Mamas? Slap Your Mamas like here, like right here. What's on your fingers? Sauce. Sauce. Well, we kind of like them because we ate them all. I hope so, if you're a Yelper. What's your favorite? What's your favorite flavor? Fireside Honey. Fireside honey, and we had. You had fireside? We had fireside and honey. So, Fireside Pizza Cafe down here in Palm Harbor, Florida. Uh, I just learned it's a family owned restaurant. I'd give those wings about an 8 out of 10. They weren't quite as good as Slap Your Mama's down in Biloxi, Mississippi, but they were very good and very interesting the way that they put the onions right there, you know, in there in the, uh, in the sauce and with the with the wings and then roasted them in that fire oven. So this place, I learned a little bit more about it. Um, their pizza we didn't try, but I've heard it's very, very good. They hand roll their meatballs. The father of this family keeps all of the recipes secret, so not even the children know about it. So let's hope the father doesn't have any kind of accidents here. But just across from the Fireside Pizza Cafe is the Coolside Gelato Bar where there you can get a flight of gelettos with a beer and make kind of a beer float with the gelettos and they've been all over the local news and media and they said Food Network has come out here so we're going to go over and we're going to give that a try because that seems really interesting and let you know what we think. Cool side gelato bar. Let's go inside here and see what they have. You're just all wrapped up to go, correct? Uh, yes, if you want to like Alright, thank you. How are you guys? 
you guys anything or just looking? Okay, explain this madness that's going on here. What is... So all this... What is... Because you have beer and you have gelato and I want to know what's going on here. Okay, so we all, all have our gelato here. We make it all right in the back. My boss and I, if you guys make it, the difference between gelato and ice cream is that gelato have more milk than heavy cream. Or ice cream have more heavy cream than milk. I mean, gelato a lot. Gelato milk. has more... Milk than heavy cream. Milk than heavy cream. Correct. And it makes it a lot more healthier for you because it cuts out a lot of the butter fat. But where does the beer come into it? So our beer lattes is like a root beer flow. You pick one of the beers and then one of the gelato flavors. And we make a root beer flow out of it. So if you have a beer bud, I can have a lot of gelato. Because some beers do go to some gelato flavors. Guinness. Guinness? You want to do a Guinness? I want to do a Guinness. Okay, so Guinness is really good with chocolate, almond joy, and tiramisu. And you totally want to branch out, be my guest. But those are the three best sellers of Guinness. Let's do chocolate. So that's it. We're going to give this a try. We're going to order a Guinness beer and mix it in a chocolate gelato to create a float. There's don't, part one. don't worry. We're going to make the boy drink it. <laughs> so here we go, folks. And that was my knee right on the cake. Please do not, whatever you do, try this at home. We are professional. Guinness on top of chocolate gelato. You think it was worth eight fifty one? To be honest, this is not a combination that I would recommend for the faint of heart or anyone for that matter. Uh, I certainly think it's pretty bad, but I'll let yeah, I'll let you guys give it a try and comment later. Lighting in here is kind of cool. It is looks like old street lights. What do you think of your beer, beer Leto? <laughs> do you like it? You do like it. You do. See, he was kidding. He didn't like it. He was tricking. He was tricking everyone. Are you gonna finish it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm a German. We have a beer. We drink it, no matter what. Is this? Is this the worst beer you've ever put in your mouth? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, that's just not not something I do. I don't I don't do any of my trips uh, sponsored or anything like that because I feel like it it forces you to give some kind of credit to whatever establishment is sponsoring you. Um, Fireside Pizza Cafe, really good would highly recommend it. Uh, apparently it's a pretty big hot spot around here. This is kind of the downtown Palm Harbor area. The Poolside Gelato Bar, for the love of God and all things holy, please stay as far away from that place as you can. Unless you're just in there to get the gelato. But the beer lotto was just, I mean, I'm ill now. I'm gonna have to go home and, 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 and go to bed. It was, it was, it, it was it was a life-changing experience in a negative way. It really it it it, it violated my soul. I feel like so <laughs> I would definitely <laughs> not do it. And I think I figured out why, right? Because beer is bitter, and they mixed it with milk, gelato, and that's that's sour milk. So I drank 16 ounces of sour milk, and now. Um, the laws of physics are currently um, under underway inside my inside my uh, stomach. So we're gonna see how that ends out. I'll keep you guys updated and let you know. Until next time, keep living. <laughs>